Hello and welcome to the task cube chopper. In this task, we will finally get to 3D computer graphics. Uh, specifically, we are trying to create a very simple chopper that has uh, rotating wings and is made out of cubes. So uh, when you look at the description of this task, here is this picture of a cube, which will become very useful later on. Uh, as, you, as you remember from previous tasks, uh, the triangles that only face the camera are visible and uh, for that the in index uh, order matters. So we can use this picture later to uh, construct the correct uh, index order. The end result should look something like this. So we have a white cube object with uh, two smaller uh, cubes cube object that uh, look like uh, chopper wings. Now let's look at the code for this uh, task. So uh, starting from the top, we have all three uh, global variables for the rendering. We have the renderer, we have the scene and the camera. And then we also have the chopper, which will be our uh, main uh, object in the scene. Then we have two helper functions, uh, millis, which prints out the uh, time in milliseconds. And also we have uh, two rad, which converts uh, degrees to radians. Then we have the on onload uh, function, uh, as uh, we saw from previous tasks. Uh, but this time we will be using perspective camera. And uh, here we have uh, 80 degrees uh, field of view. And the aspect ratio is with divided by height, and then the near plane is 1 and far plane is 1000. So we'll be talking about the near and far plane in later, uh, later sections of this course, but uh, basically it means that the nearest thing the camera sees is at least one uh, unit away from the camera, and the furthest is uh, maximally 1000 units away from the camera. Then we also change the camera position to 15 and 2. Uh, Z on the Z and to Y. Uh, we set the camera up position, so this means that uh, the up direction is uh, pointing to the Y uh, axis. If you were to change the up direction to 1, 0, 0, then it would mean that all the things that we see uh, in the scene are rotated at 90 degrees. Basically, uh, think of it as a detection where your top of the head is directing. Then uh, we say that the camera has to look at the position 0, 0, 0. So that should be the center of our world. And finally, we add the camera to the scene. And then there are two uh, functions that we have to implement. Well, of course, this implemented already. It's the add hanger. This will be our background. Uh, and then we also need to add the chopper. Uh, this will return the chopper. Uh, finally, we call the throw function. The throw function will be uh, the, uh, the callback that will be called at every frame. And at every frame, we want to render a new, new version of the screen. Then there is this function request animation frame, and this takes an argument uh, this function. Uh, this function, request animation frame, says to the uh, browser that call the function throw uh, as soon as uh, a new frame will be rendered in the browser. And uh, the add hanger function uh, creates uh, five walls. Uh, that uh, surrounds the chopper. The add chopper function uses the create cube function to compose a chopper from cubes. And that create cube we also have to implement. And that's where we will use the uh, cube picture from the task description. And finally, there is this uh, create wall function that has already been implemented that uh, is used by the add hanger function. If we activate the server, we see that the screen 
just shows the empty hangar. There is no chopper or anything else in this scene currently. To show a chopper, first we need to add the chopper to the scene. So we use the scene.add, just like with the camera, but instead of camera, we add the chopper that we got from add chopper. And the second thing we have to do is we have to implement the add chopper function. So let's see what is currently done in that chopper. Uh, we call the create cube function uh, that will be the body, and the body is added to the chopper. And everything else is just created, but it's not added to the chopper, so we don't currently care about that. Let's look at the cube function. So here we have uh, the information about vertices. We only have two vertices defined currently. And then we also have uh, the uh, triangle information. Now try to refill this vertices and this faces uh, rays with the information given here. So we could see the cube on the screen. So I wrote down the rays, uh, but I'm not showing it to you right now. Uh, that's your task to do. Uh, next thing to do is to add the vertices and faces to our geometry, but first we have to change the vertices to the uh, vector array. For that we use this for loop here. And we use the vertex count variable here, which is the length of this array. And we increment it by three because for every vector there are three coordinates. So let's see if we can do a t vector. Three. And what uh, values do we want to be in this vector tree? Firstly, we add the x coordinate. That should be on the zeroth position. So this is uh, zero, but also we need to add the offset i, so i plus zero, or just i. Second one is the next one, so i plus one, and the third one has the offset of two. And then uh, we need to add those vectors to the array points. Use the function push. And then we have the point array. And those points plus the faces, or the uh, in indices in the faces, have to be added to the geometry. So, so that can be done with the set from points function. We use points. And then the indices have to be added to the set index. And this is. Let's, uh, oh, let's, set up here. let's see what it looks like here. So, as can be seen, this does not look like a cube, uh, but it looks almost like a cube. So some of the triangles seem to be missing. To get a better idea of what's going on, we should rotate this uh, object. So as you can remember, the chopper is a global variable, so we can access it from the draw function. And we can change the rotation by accessing the rotation uh, vector and uh, then a sub coordinate of that vector. And we can use the uh, function in the, in the comment to assign it, assign some value to it. So this will change the y-axis uh, rotation. Um, so you can see it's rotates now. And we see that this triangle seems to be missing. But it might not be the only triangle missing, so we should rotate it on other axis as well. Maybe the triangles on the bottom of the cube are also missing. 
So let's see if we plotted it on the x-axis, but change the uh, speed of rotation. Let it be like 20. See? Well, it looks like the only missing triangle is the one over here. So see if you have all the triangles yourself, and if you don't, then you need to change the faces values. So I found my problem, and now there seem to be no triangles missing. Note that this looks exactly the same when you have all the triangles in the wrong direction. So that will come, become clear if you add more cubes to the scene and uh, see if the uh, cubes are behind uh, or uh, front of this object. So the next step is to uh, create the chopper. The chopper uh, has to be done with hierarchical uh, structuring. So firstly, we have the chopper object. We define it as an object 3D. So this is just a 3D object. There is no geometry or material attached to it. It only acts as a node in the uh, uh, geometry tree. And we already added the body. Your job is also to uh, make the body a big, bit bigger and maybe uh, change the, the location of it uh, in, the, in the local space. Uh, but the other thing you need to do is to add the blades to it. So the blades, blades are also the object 3D uh, type, and the blades have two blade uh, cubes attached to it. So you also need to change the position and uh, uh, position and scale of the of those cubes so they look like wings. And the blades have to rotate around. Uh, the axis of the blades. So let me demonstrate it on the uh, whiteboard. So let's have our chopper as a square here. And uh, if you were just to rotate the chopper as a whole, then you saw that the whole object just rotates around one of the axes. But if we add the wings to it, the blades, then we want them to be above, above the uh, chopper as a few cubes. And we see that this cube here is not in the center of the uh, object, which is around here. It is translated to this position. And uh, we can't rotate the wing itself because then the wing center is around here, which means that we rotate it around, around this axis. So we need to use the place object and uh, rotate around the place object, which is here. And the other important thing is to rotate it around the uh, correct axis. So the axis that we want to rotate uh, in this case is the Y axis. Uh, because that's the that's the direction that is facing up currently. If you were to rotate the wings around the x-axis, that would mean that we would uh, rotate it uh, on this axis, and it would look like like this. And that does not look like uh, a job. And the z-axis will be facing towards us, uh, which means that the wings would go through the, the body. Here on the uh, description of the task was also the hierarchy as a, uh, as a graphic. So at the top is the job that we object, and we have the body that we, we saw already, and then we have the plates uh, 3D object as well that will, will rotate. And finally, the plate uh, meshes are the children of the plate. So finally, your task is to complete that chopper function, which means uh, changing the position and scale of the body, the plates, and also uh, establish this hierarchy that we saw in the task description, and uh, then rotate the uh, plates object uh, in the draw function.